Hi, everyone. Welcome to the XAPI cohort. This is week 10 of our 12 week program. We're closing it out, but we have a great session for you. I've, I have seen the slides. It's going to be a lot of fun. It really is. It's crafting complex statements with XAPI Canvas and workshop techniques. Now, that may not sound like a fun title, but I think you're going to be really well uh, surprised here. So our speaker today is Nicola. Yes. And before we get started, yes, I just want to remind you about the XAPI party, November 2nd. If you have an XAPI project, some work you want to share with us, make sure you get that proposal in. Our deadline is tomorrow. I'm going to drop links in the chat when I'm done speaking, but we do definitely want you to share your work from this cohort, from work you've done at your organization that showcases XAPI, of course. And of course, we have the XAPI User Conference at DevLearn. It's happening Tuesday, October 24th. And you're going to have a whole wonderful slate of activities there. And I'm going to drop the link in chat so that you can be a part of this at DevLearn. If you are not a member of the Learning Guild, I would highly encourage you to become a member. We have all kinds of free access to research reports, uh, different webinars, and of course, you get a discount to our face-to-face -face events, which is quite the perk. So hopefully, you'll become a member. We do have our check-in towards the end of the session. So if there's anyone out here who's watching us and would love to just give us an update on your current project or what you're working on, just private message me here in the platform and I'll get you on stage and we can hear what it is you'd like to talk about. All right, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and turn things over to Nicola. Okay, thank you. Uh, just a second. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Karen, for the introduction, for uh, your presentation. I'm really, really happy to be here with uh, this uh, presentation. As you told uh, before, uh, this is a, a very serious uh, title for this presentation, but uh, the content, uh, I promise, uh, will be really fun. And uh, I'll I start with... Um, <clears throat> A very short uh, uh, presentation about uh, me. Uh, I am uh, a, an XAPI consultant and trainer, uh, mainly focused uh, on uh, bringing uh, XAPI uh, inside organization. Uh, and uh, I try to make uh, this, uh, uh, this work with uh, uh, a bit of uh, creative thinking and uh, a bit of uh, curiosity because uh, I think that uh, these uh, uh, qualities uh, are really important to add value to the XAPI project because uh, it's not just a, a technical uh, uh, topic but uh, we need to uh, have uh, a different approach to this uh, um, this uh, uh, area, this uh, scenario, this uh, uh, specification. Uh, this is the, the uh, only slide uh, that I keep the same as the previous presentation I did uh, a few months ago in the spring edition. And uh, I want to keep it because uh, it's really important for me to uh, to, to define that the ex experience API is not just uh, a specification and uh, needs a, a different approach that uh, couldn't be uh, a plug and play approach. And uh, it's really important for me because uh, all this presentation is about facilitation, is about uh, create uh, uh, an environment inside the organization that could be 
uh, ready and could be open to XAPI uh, project. I want to, to share some uh, thoughts about uh, the e-learning scenarios that we are facing now. And uh, uh, I want to make uh, some thoughts uh, about the situation before XAPI. Few years ago, I uh, can say that uh, when uh, we are bringing e-learning project inside the organization, I think that uh, there uh, was uh, a few people that are really engaged, really uh, involved in the designing the project because uh, you just need to have uh, people that uh, let us uh, to define the software, uh, define the, the right uh, instructional design approach. And also, even uh, when uh, the project is uh, uh, released and you are in the, the delivery phase, the the project was spinning like on a rail, like a train, uh, because uh, not just because uh, it was easy, it wasn't easy, okay. But uh, the the situation, the organization, the organization models uh, were really m less complex uh, than uh, the actual uh, ones. So this is. Uh, uh, the right premise to my presentation because uh, we need uh, for today a new different uh, approach because uh, we need more people involved in uh, the uh, designing process of a project and we need more engaged people. We, we need people that uh, are passionate about XAPI uh, if you see the, the, the slide here, uh, we can see that uh, we, uh, the, the structure of the organization is uh, more dispersed, is like a cellular organization. Uh, so I think that we need to have, uh, uh, to create some, uh, a sort of uh, XAPI cells. Uh, that we can propagate inside the organization and that could help us to create the right environment and the right scenario for, for, for our uh, XAPI uh, project. So we want people that understand XAPI capabilities, understand and know the statement design stuff, uh, understand the technological elements of uh, an XAPI project uh, and uh, also know how to get a value from XAPI. And uh, if they are not the technical uh, people, they know what to ask to XAPI team. It's not just uh, uh, bringing that content. Uh, you need to uh, understand better exactly the right uh, question to to ask uh, to your to your team. In one word, uh, we need uh, a, an army of Xapiers. Xapiers. Okay, I have uh, uh, choose this uh, word to describe. Uh, people that are engaged and are uh, passionate about XAPI. And to create this army, to create this uh, uh, group of uh, cells for the propagation of the XAPI projects, uh, we need uh, a new, uh, a new uh, figure, a new uh, person inside the organization uh, that I call uh, XAPI practitioner. I call, uh, I define uh, XAPI practitioner because uh, I think that it's a really similar, it's a, a really similar situation uh, to the agile uh, introduction when a company chooses to uh, to, to bring Agile inside their process, they need uh, practitioners, 
They need practitioners that, because it's not uh, easy to introduce uh, a new way to uh, define process, to manage processes, uh, and uh, and so on. So in the same way, we need uh, a practitioner that let uh, organization to create uh, people that are that is aware about the project and. Uh, uh, also aware about the technical aspects uh, of the uh, of XAPI. What are the competencies uh, of an XAPI practitioner? This is my experience. So probably another another um, other people with other experience uh, could bring other competencies. Could bring other approaches but i think that this is uh these are a good starting point uh obviously uh, an x api knowledge about uh, the specification about all the the, the x api stuff and uh, we have uh, so many things uh, to to know about the x api we we need to have also facilitation uh technique because uh uh, to create, uh, to define, uh, and to design uh, an XAPI project, we also need uh, to make uh, workshops, uh, meetings, uh, uh, to bring uh, uh, on uh, the, the project. So we also need, I think, uh, information design knowledge because uh, we have so many information to manage. So I think uh, this is uh, a very specific uh, um, competence that I, 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 I find that is really important in this, uh, uh, in this type of, of project. It's also really important to have uh, a visual thinking approach, uh, both uh, for ourselves because we need to think about uh, XAPI in a visual way, but also to use uh, visual thinking uh, uh, tools uh, to help other people to think about XAPI and to generate statements. And the visual tool I will show you uh, today, I think that are a good set of uh, tools uh, to uh, facilitate uh, the visual thinking about uh, uh, XAPI. But XAPI is, is also a semantic uh, uh, standard. So I think that uh, probably more in the future, also information architecture uh, knowledge could be really useful because uh, especially for the XAPI profile uh, uh, projects, I think that uh, an information architecture knowledge will be really uh, important. This presentation, I'm really happy because uh, 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 preparing this uh, presentation uh, bring me to uh, make more work uh, uh, that uh, I would I would made without this presentation. So this is uh, a, an exclusive preview of this uh, new iBook that uh, will be released soon. It's not ready, but uh, I'm really I'm really close to uh, release. It will be an ebook with uh, over forty games and activities. Uh, for the uh, XAPI community and for the XAPI projects. And uh, today I will share with you a few of them. Not uh, I, I haven't the time to, to share all, but uh, if you want to uh, see the other ones, uh, you can uh, uh, read the ebook uh, in, the, in the future. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> I'm come back. This uh, tool of games, this tool, this uh, set uh, of games, this set of uh, tools are a digital tool set. I think that um, 
uh, I have chosen games, I have designed games and activities thinking about uh, both uh, uh, both delivery mode. I, uh, I can use uh, in an offline uh, scenario in, uh, in presence, uh, uh, on site, uh, in uh, inside of the organization, but I, I can also, and I always, also, I can also use it uh, uh, in uh, an online setup. Okay, sometimes I mix uh, both uh, the situation. Uh, you will see. I have uh, this, uh, these games, these activities are really flexible. So uh, you can uh, choose uh, a game and you can adapt the game exactly to your context, uh, to your audience, uh, and uh, also uh, define uh, your version of this game. But uh, just uh, for an ontologic uh, point of view, I, I have tried to uh, group these, uh, these uh, games in category. So you see in the bottom part of the slide, we have uh, some uh, discovery games, some exploration game, some games that are more uh, generative because we uh, we we want to to generate statements or even the complex ones or some uh, games are more uh, learning games I have uh, many students and I use these games when especially in specific moments of the the training uh, uh, path because uh, I use these games to stimulate people to make something. Uh, you will see that uh, there are games that uh, are really uh, specifically used for learning. Other, one, other ones are focused on analytics. So this is the five uh, categories I have chosen, but uh, as you will see, each game can be adapted uh, or can be grouped uh, or can be categorized in uh, multiple uh, categories. This is the first game, uh, one of the first game I have uh, defined. Uh, I, the idea came from uh, uh, my daughters, my little daughters, because uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, you uh, know Wimmel books. Wimmel books are, are uh, uh, books that describes a very color colorful uh, world with uh, hundreds uh, of people that are making uh, multiple activities, and uh, these books helps uh, children to understand. Uh, the world around us, around us, uh, and to know, for example, uh, a farm uh, or uh, a construction site, uh, and so and so on. Um, I put this uh, uh, Wimmel books image. I put on a, on a video on on the display or print uh, in a, on a on a on a sheet, and. Uh, I divide in a block, in a box, uh, uh, with the letter, alpha, and uh, numbers, so people can, uh, for example, I obviously, before I explain uh, the XAPI, the concept, uh, the triplet, uh, actor, verb, and object, uh, in order to let people to describe uh, the scenes uh, they see, the, the action they, they can uh, recognize inside the, the Vimmel books. And then people can uh, tell me, I see a woman in green opens the door or man in the, with a yellow t-shirt takes a selfie and so on. So this is uh, uh, an example, but uh, also we can uh, 
awarding points for each valid statement because uh, it's really useful, especially in a, in a discovery phase, because people can uh, see an action, try to describe with the statement. Sometimes the statement is uh, the triplet is uh, right, and so it's good. Sometimes the triplet is not uh, properly made from an XAPI point of view. And this game let me to explain, for example, that uh, uh, verbs uh, are in the past tense. So I see that uh, uh, I think that is really useful in the first phase, in the first discovery phase of uh, XAPI. Uh, sometimes I use uh, this. Is, I want to share this uh, next. Um, uh, uh, this next uh, slide because this is an, the, ex the example that uh, this kind of game can be adapted for sometimes uh, I I'm going to a company and uh, I want to be more close to the environment to the context to the market of this company so instead of using uh, uh, Wimmel books, I can use, for example, infographic. I can make infographic exactly of, uh, about the same context, about the same market, about the same segment uh, or the same industry of the company. So when I make this kind of uh, exercise, I, I'm really closer to the real scenario of this uh, uh, company. So. This is the first game and is uh, ideal for uh, the first uh, situation. Uh, another tool, this is more similar to other uh, canvas uh, that you probably uh, have seen uh, in, uh, in the past. I, I choose to create uh, an XAPI canvas. Uh, in this case, uh, I work uh, on uh, the 11 properties uh, of the statement. So this is uh, really useful because uh, you can use this uh, uh, tool in combination with other games uh, or with other tools uh, of, uh, that I will explain. Uh, in this case, uh, this is uh, uh, a typical um, Canvas, so I create a vector, a PDF, uh, uh, a vector uh, file in order to uh, let me choose uh, from uh, within a, a small format if I want to play and to let uh, a single player mode. I, I call single player when I want uh, that a single participant can uh, write a note or take uh, take reflection about the, the, the statement and, uh, and the, the, about the properties of statement. But uh, we can also print in a large format and use uh, this kind of uh, canvas as uh, a wall. Uh, and we can hold uh, the workshop uh, and using uh, sticky notes, uh, markers, also dot voting uh, um, technique in order to not only uh, think about uh, the single property of the statement, but uh, probably in a more mature uh, phase of the project, we can also um, work to stimulate people and companies to take an, uh, to make an, a decision about uh, what kind of verb we want to use or what kind of uh, uh, statement we want to create. So this is explorative, generative, uh, and also uh, it's a really versatile uh, uh, tool. This is another, this is one of the, my favorite uh, games. Uh, I like uh, eating sushi, so <laughs> I have uh, called uh, Sushi XAPI game, XAPI game. Uh, as uh, we will cut uh, sushi rolls, uh, we learn that one experience can be split into multiple statements. Sometimes uh, people in the first phase uh, of XAPI um, life cycle, they can understand, they can recognize uh, 
that uh, this experience could be uh, tracked by XAPI. But uh, I want to, I want that people can be able to think of this main experience and before uh, and, and uh, they, uh, I want that uh, they can be able to define exactly how many statements I can uh, split uh, uh, this uh, experience. So it's really important for me because uh, once we have uh, splitted a, a main experience in multiple statements, once we have done this, I can work also in uh, stimulate people to think about the the, sequen the right sequence of the this experience because probably uh, we can work uh, uh, changing some sec some some um, pieces of this sequence, or I can put this uh, statement uh, and uh, around the clock. Uh, in order to think about the duration of this experience and this is could be useful also uh, from an analytics point of view or i can group uh, the single statements uh, of uh, this uh, experience uh, in order to understand if uh, we need to uh, use uh, for example uh, uh, the categories uh, properties uh, or other elements so i think that uh, once we have uh, learned uh, that i can split uh, the uh, the experience in multiple statements uh, this is uh, a really useful uh, uh, knowledge that i bring uh, uh, in the xapi culture of the company or the team uh, this is uh, a real concrete, a real uh, realistic, a, a realistic game uh, similar to uh, Wimmel Xapi, uh, but uh, uh, a way to bring people inside the company and uh, to have a, a realistic experience of the powerful of uh, XAPI. So this is the, the game, it's really simple. Uh, in the first phase, as uh, usual, I explain XAPI, I explain the XAPI triplet, uh, actor, verb, and object. Once we have made this, I bring people outside the classroom, I bring them uh, around in the company, in the factory, in the workshop, uh, in the laboratory, it depends uh, uh, uh by the, the the types of uh, market uh, the types of the company but uh, we use a, a smartphone to take a picture about the activities the action we see the experience the experiences we can see around and uh, once we come back uh, into the classroom we think about uh, okay this is a right the right experience this is a very important experience we start thinking about uh, uh, statement design so i it's this a similar uh, game uh, similar to uh, we milk sapi but uh, made uh, bringing people around it's really funny and it's really uh, it's really funny and you can also uh, awarding uh, teams uh, or people that are making more pictures <laughs> around so it's uh, really interesting okay this is uh, an xapi matrix this is a really uh, simple uh, tool but uh, very powerful from my point of view and it uh, it could be used especially for generative session learning section analytics session i i mean uh, sometimes uh, people are uh, uh, frozen in the statement design process because uh, they don't know exactly uh, what uh, the verbs uh, to use the, or how the interaction can be uh, within people, for example, can be described by the statement. In this case, 
it's uh, really simple. I put uh, a matrix and I put uh, different information. Uh, for example, I can put uh, uh, people in the column and people also in the in the rows, and then I cross the information and I think about the verbs can describe the interaction within people. Or if I use another version, I can put the verb in the column and the actor in the um, rows, thinking about the activities that can be uh, defined by the statement in, uh, uh, in the matrix. Uh, another, another way is to put uh, actor in the column, activity in the row, and we think about another time, another uh, on uh, about verbs we can use uh, in the uh, in the statement. So this is especially useful for um, statement design. Oh, this is uh, probably someone uh, some uh, has uh, already uh, viewed this. Uh, uh, this game or this tool, uh, because uh, you see also there, there are uh, the posters uh, behind me. Uh, this is a really easy to 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 make this uh, this game, and I think it's uh, a good way to introduce XAPI for the first time. Uh, I call uh, XAPI at the movies. We choose uh, a famous movie uh, and we pick uh, a cult scene. Uh, if you are, uh, if you want, you can also uh, let people define the, the movie and let people to pick the, sh the scene. So it's more generative, it's more interactive. Once we have uh, picked the, the, the scene, we ask people to try to describe, to record the, the real meaning of this scene using a statement, okay? The, 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 the real value of this game is that uh, once we have described the scene, it's uh, really clear that we can describe also all the experiences we have uh, inside the organization, because the movie is the most powerful form of communication in humanity. So if we can track and record and describe uh, um, the power, uh, the most powerful form of communication in a statement, we can obviously uh, make the same thing also for uh, the the experience that we live uh, in, uh, in inside the organization. So this is a really useful uh, tool. Uh, I used uh, this, uh, this uh, game, these activities, and uh, I, I was really lucky in the past because, uh, for example, these are famous uh, uh, version of this game, um, in this case, made um, by Mike Rastesi, uh, that uh, choose uh, the Top Gun uh, movie and choose the, the uh, specific uh, uh, scene. And uh, I, I really, I, I've learned the, that uh, that time I've learned, uh, for example, that a statement could be uh, detailed, uh, but also have uh, shades, ironic uh, shades uh, in the, in the, in the content of the, of the statement. You will see if you download uh, the, the PDF of this uh, presentation, uh, 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 you will see the, the statement that it, it, it's really amazing uh, the way Mike Rastisi put, uh, uh, the ironic, uh, uh, of the sh side of the sheen inside the, the statement. As, uh, as also Andrew Dones, this is a, 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 a version, a, a poster made with Andrew Dones that um, uh, describe in the best way using the fellowship of the ring 
from the Lord of the Ring uh, movie series, uh, the use of the group uh, as actor in the statement. Uh, the, uh, you see that every... Um, uh, yes, I, I, I let uh, the, the PDF uh, free to download the, uh, after the, the, the session. But uh, what uh, if uh, we have uh, people or audience that uh, are not aware about uh, movies? Because uh, sometimes I think that uh, next generation are uh, more on a streaming uh, platform. So it's the same. You can uh, all, all you can also cha choose uh, to 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 pick a, a scene from Ted Lasso, from Stranger Things, from Friends. You can adapt uh, your game uh, to your tastes uh, or your audience. It's not a problem. It's the same way uh, we can uh, play the game. This is another preview. This is uh, more uh, in the in the future, but I'm working on it. This is a more complex uh, uh, than uh, the ebook uh, uh, I'm talking to because this is uh, probably the most ambitious <laughs> project uh, I'm approaching uh, in the divulgation in the evangelism of XAPI. But I hope that uh, it will be released uh, soon. This is uh, a, an XAPI deck cards uh, uh, where I can use a deck uh, uh, with uh, cards uh, about properties, uh, about each property of the statement, uh, about the LRS, uh, about the XAPI profile, about um, every single element that is relevant for an XAPI project. And these cards could be used, for example, uh, to with the two main uh, uh, goals. Uh, the first one is to give uh, to people uh, a way to retrieve uh, in a fast way information. Sometimes I, I don't remember exactly uh, uh, a part of a specification. So I need to go there and go to the GitHub and see the specification. Or, because it, this is the way more faster because I can uh, take a card, uh, rotate, uh, read uh, the main information and uh, I can uh, uh, use it uh, during uh, a session. This is uh, uh, a very thousand use uh, tool because uh, I can use uh, uh, also with uh, the canvas, the 11 piece canvas, uh, because I can uh, attach the, the card uh, or using on a table. It's a really uh, useful uh, tool. Uh, and uh, we can use also for the learning part. So I think that, uh, yes, uh, the, the cards obviously is not a, a new idea. Uh, sometimes I use the UX, UX card or uh, other agile, agile cards. Uh, there are uh, uh, plenty of uh, card decks. But uh, I, I think that uh, XAPI decks uh, is uh, really important for our community and I'm working on it. Uh, uh, it's really complex, I, I, I have uh, to admit, because uh, the problem is that uh, information are too much and it's really difficult to cut the, uh, uh, the, the information because uh, from my point of view, all the information are important, are relevant, but uh, we need to uh, create cards that are easy to read also for not uh, uh, very expert uh, people. So I think that uh, could be interesting. This is another game. You see that I'm not happy in this picture because I'm really, when I, I play with Scrabble, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm really competitive. And so I'm really aggressive sometimes when I play Scrabble. Uh, and I like Scrabble. I really like Scrabble. And uh, 
this is a game that I'm using very often when I mm, train people about uh, the statement design. And sometimes I see that people uh, is uh, ready to make uh, statements, is uh, able to make statements, uh, but uh, I see that are not confident in uh, using uh, all the properties uh, of the statement. So they are ready, they are able, but they don't use all the properties. So in the same way of a Scrabble, where letters are, uh, have, have different uh, points, uh, different value, I, I put the same approach to the statements or the elements of the, uh, of the statement. So we can, we can define in a free way. So this is a, a, a one way, but you can choose another points ranking or another points reference. But I assign to every single properties, every single element of the statement points. And then I ask people, I propose a, uh, an experience, uh, a set of experience, and I, I tell, make a statement, send a statement, may, probably I'm also using a, a XAPI lab or other tool, uh, well, it's not important, but I want you, you to send a statement and I am going to measure uh, how, ma how many property are you using and each property has uh, uh, points, so after this game, we have a ranking for uh, where people can be uh, stimulated to use all <laughs> the, the properties in the statement design. So I have seen that is really effective because after this game, people uh, will uh, become more confident uh, in using uh, especially more difficult properties, attachments or other uh, specific uh, property. This is the Squid Game. The name is more uh, is a, a catchy uh, name because uh, in for is similar to the Netflix series. But uh, in this case, the squid of the name is about the visual pattern I want to use in this, uh, in this game. Uh, this is really useful for many purposes, for, with many uh, contexts, but I think that uh, one of the most uh, interesting is uh, one when you are approaching the analytics phase of the project. I mean, you have a, 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 a bunch, uh, a group of statements you have generated in, uh, you are able to generate inside the project. You put this on uh, a board and uh, you start asking a question about this experience. But uh, the, the trick of this uh, uh, game is, uh, I make a question, I stimulate people to ask a question about that experience, but I don't want open answer. I want for answer as answers. I want exactly the property of the statement can uh, answer to that question. So, so the game is, uh, I need to know exactly the state, the property that I can uh, uh, query that I can query in, from an LRS, and I also know, I need to know also that uh, the meaning of this uh, property and the use of this property. So this is very useful, both for learning uh, the interaction with the LRS, but also for designing the uh, report uh, or the dashboard. In this case, uh, the squid is because uh, iterating uh, this uh, uh, game, uh, you can also uh, 
create a, a shape that is similar to a squid. Okay. In at the end, I don't want to uh, avoid uh, to um, make a games or some games about uh, XAPI profiles. So I have uh, create uh, a very simple canvas also for XAPI uh, profile. And uh, I suggest uh, to print in a large, very large format uh, attached to the wall and uh, take there uh, for a long time just to uh, make uh, the design of the XAPI profile in the right way, uh, working on this board for multiple times uh, and so on. So this is uh, really useful. Uh, at the end, we are. I'm. I'm ending my presentation. Just a few thoughts. A few final thoughts. Uh, we can work with this approach uh, in a one-shot way. So I think sometimes they call me and I make a workshop, a two-day workshop, and uh, it ends uh, that day, uh, or more often after the first workshop uh, we can work also for a more wide period for a long period and uh, using these games these uh, activities this as an exercise for a long period building a, a really complex a really articulate uh, program uh, okay i'm i have finished I hope uh, to, today uh, that I give you some uh, ideas for your next uh, XAPI meeting. And uh, I finished my presentation, Karen. So if you want, if you, there are some uh, questions, I'm here. Or and if you want to share my PDF uh, at the end, it's not a problem. Uh, I'm really I, OK, I will upload your PDF, which has those different games you will come back into the session it'll be there uh i have a couple of questions that are coming through are you know it was amazing they had a great time <laughs> they really want to know when you're going to release the book uh, okay i i hope uh, before christmas uh, i want to to make uh, uh, a Christmas present uh, to the XAPI community. So I, that'd I, be great. Uh, and <laughs> I, I think you should post that in the Slack yeah. channel. Yeah. And um, yeah. when you do release, because I, I do think, um, I know I want a copy yeah. because yeah. it looks it looks amazing. So thanks so much, very much for giving us that presentation. You've taken You're welcome. something that is complex. And when you put it into those pieces and make a fun game, I think we'd learn a little more. So it's really <laughs> great. So thank you so much. I, I'm not seeing You're any welcome. other questions or anything. Lots of hand claps and a lot of thumbs up. So thanks so much, Nicola. And thanks to all of you for spending your time with us. We have two more XAPI sessions. And don't forget, tomorrow is our last day for the call for proposals for the XAPI party, which is occurring on November 2nd. So I'm going to drop that link in chat. Make sure you uh, go ahead and share your work and get into the XAPI party because we would love to see what you've accomplished in this cohort, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a full blown project. It doesn't have to be a fun game there. But what you've done, um, because what happens is in the XAPI party, many people will join. They'll see your work. And even if it's a small thing, it, it doesn't matter because then it gives people a taste. And that's what we're trying to do is just encourage a XAPI. So thanks, everyone. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.